Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. As you probably know, we post content daily, so if you'd like to show your support, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button, join the notification squad by subscribing and hitting that bell notification on, but also, don't forget to comment down below saying I subscribed to enter our monthly shoutouts, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Hope you enjoy the video. Growing up, a lot of us wish we were a star on Disney Channel as it seemed like those kids were living the dream. They had tons of admirers, got to act on cool shows, record their own records, and live a supposedly glamorous life. Unfortunately, all is not gold that glitters, and the pressure that comes along with the entertainment industry and sudden fame is something that the kids really shouldn't have to deal with, which is why a lot of child stars crack at one point or another. From drug abuse to public meltdowns, here are eight Disney stars who went through a crazy phase. After making her debut on the children's television series Barney and Friends as a child, Demi Lovato received her breakthrough role as Mitchy Torres in the Disney Channel television series Camp Rock in 2008 and its sequel Camp Rock 2 The Final Jam, which was released in 2010. Following the first movie, she landed her own show titled Sunny with a Chance, which ran from 2009 to 2011. Since singing with Hollywood Records, Lovato has an extremely successful music career and has released six studio albums. She has received a number of awards, including an MTV Video Music Award and five People's Choice Awards. The actress and singer was featured as a judge and mentor in the American version of The X Factor in 2012 and 2013, and also appeared as a recurring character on Glee during that time. Lovato struggles with bipolar disorder, addiction, an eating disorder, and self-harm received significant media attention in the 2010s. The artist has been extremely vocal about her struggles, releasing the song Sober in June of this year, in which she revealed she has relapsed after six full years of sobriety. On July 24, 2018, she was rushed to the Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles after emergency services were called to her home due to an opioid overdose. The former Disney sweetheart was reported to be stable and recovering later in the day after reportedly overdosing on oxycodone laced with fentanyl. Lilaine Vergara became famous with the role as Miranda and Lizzie McGuire, where she was the best friend every girl dreamed of. Vergara also starred in the Disney Channel original film You Wish and tried to launch a music career in 2003, but her album was never released. She has stayed pretty much out of the public eye since the show ended in 2004, but there has been a time where she was going through something during what she now calls her dark years. It all started when she was caught with crystal meth, and in 2007, she admitted to possession of the drug. Vergara somehow managed to keep those problems fairly quiet though, and her record was wiped clean after she successfully completed a drug treatment program. Today, the former Disney star says she is living a better, more slow-paced life, and although she doesn't really do much acting anymore, she did make a short cameo appearance in the film Easy A and has had a few guest roles on different TV shows. Similar to Lelaine Vergara, Zac Efron managed to keep his drug issues quiet and did not have a public meltdown. The actor rose to fame with his role as Troy Bolton as Disney's high school musical, which turned him into a teen heartthrob, as well as a millionaire. But along with the fame and the popularity came the pressure, and at one point Efron found himself addicted to cocaine, and even got into a fight with a homeless man on one occasion. According to sources, his drug problem was getting out of hand, and as the actor started spiraling out of control, he eventually realized that he needed help and quietly checked himself into rehab. Efron has also admitted to having an alcohol problem and stated that he was attending Alcoholics Anonymous meetings and is seeing a therapist. Judging by recent years, Efron seems to be doing pretty great now and has also stated that he feels happier and healthier these days than ever before. The actor has not only done a lot of growing up since his Disney days, but has also managed to launch a successful career away from Disney, having starred in hit comedies like Neighbors, Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates, and Baywatch. 
Misha Barton began acting as a child and had roles in movies like The Sixth Sense and Nutting Hill before she became famous with her role as Marissa Cooper in the teen TV series The O.C. when she was 17 years old. Her downfall began with alcohol and drug controversies and a nervous breakdown in 2009, but she really infuriated her fans and critics with an Instagram post regarding the Black Lives Matter movement in 2016. In her tribute to Alton Sterling, she said that executions like his and all the other controversy in the United States left her heartbroken, but then shows a picture of herself on a yacht drinking champagne during a vacation to go along with the post. Even though Barton deleted the post after being heavily criticized for the choice of imagery and also apologized the next day, she should have really thought this through before risking her already failing career by commenting on such a sensitive issue. After being one of the hottest and most sought after actresses in Hollywood in the late 90s and early 2000s, Barton's career quickly went downhill after that, and her financial problems were made worse due to her mother defrauding her and taking out loans on her home. Orlando Brown played the lovable character Eddie on That's So Raven between 2003 and 2007, but while Raven Simone and Annalisa Vanderpoel are both back for the spin-off series Raven's Home, Brown wasn't asked to be on the show, which probably has a thing or two to do with his controversial past. Although he has appeared in a few projects since his Disney days, he mostly made the headlines for different reasons in recent years. In 2014, Brown was charged with public intoxication and disturbing the peace when he threatened to kill a woman before being charged with battery and drug possession two years later when he allegedly hit his girlfriend and was carrying meth. Obviously, Disney doesn't want to be associated with legal troubles like this, so Brown probably won't get a role in their show anytime soon. However, it seems like the actor has started to turn his life around again as he has his first movie in three years lined up for the end of this year. Miley Cyrus's role as Miley Stewart, a middle and high school girl who was secretly a pop star in Hannah Montana, rocketed her to stardom, and the series resulted in the Hannah Montana movie and Miley's professional singing career as Hannah Montana. She appeared to have the life that every girl is dreaming of, living a fairly normal life day by day, while secretly being an undercover superstar. Being the daughter of a country singer Billy Ray Cyrus, Miley inherited the musical talent and her Hannah Montana music was a hit. The Hannah Montana movie was the end of her Disney career though, and after that, Miley continued to sing and release hits like 7 Things I Like About You and Can't Be Tamed. She went through quite the wild phase a couple of years back, appearing on stage in nude spandex and grinding on Robin Thicke, hosting SNL wearing a dress of dreadlocks, or just sticking her tongue out farther than humanly possible at any given opportunity, which resulted in Miley ridding herself of the Disney good girl image once and for all. Although she continued acting in films like The Last Song, where she met her now fiancé Liam Hemsworth, or last year's Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2, she has largely focused on her music career and has appeared as a coach and part-time advisor in the singing competition television series The Voice. Shia LaBeouf rose to fame as the goofy Louis Stevens on the Disney Channel show Even Stevens and has since turned into a Nike-inspired motivational speaker, see his Just Do It speech on YouTube, and has also gone into public art performances. He managed to be hugely successful even after his Disney days ended by landing leading roles in the movies like Disturbia and Transformers, but sadly started having public outbursts later on and going outside in a plastic bag because he said the media had brushed him off as a washout. The actor has also repeatedly gotten in trouble with cops, being arrested on charges of disorderly conduct, obstruction, and public drunkenness during which he also gave a racist rant in July 2017. Most recently starring as John McEnroe in Borg vs. McEnroe and having three movies lined up to be released in 2019, it seems like the former Disney star has managed to turn his life around again. Although Britney Spears is better known for being a singer, she actually was a Disney star at one time, where she was in the Mickey Mouse Club alongside fellow singers Justin Timberlake and Christina Aguilera, as well as actor Ryan Gosling. After becoming the princess of pop as a teenager, Britney had one of the most infamous public breakdowns of any celebrity in 2007 when she shaved her head. Unfortunately, that wasn't all of it. Before this moment of craziness, the singer had overdosed on amphetamines and being taken to a hospital and placed under a psychiatric hold. She shaved her head a few days later and was subsequently in and out of treatment centers for quite a while, 
During that time, she also started having repeated trouble with the police, including a hit and run and refusing to relinquish custody of her children after being investigated for child abuse and neglect charges that arose during her custody battle. Brittany eventually sought treatment for substance abuse and with the help of her family, she managed to get her life back together. She was a judge in X Factor and had a residency show in Las Vegas which she even brought abroad. She was also set to start her second Las Vegas residency show earlier this year, but cancelled it due to her father's ill health, which has caused her to go on an indefinite work hiatus to spend time with her family. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.